Welcome on yet another compelling episode on the personal development of our journey. Today, we looked at the words wanting the best for your life. Have you ever met someone who didn't want the best for their lives? I don't think I've met someone, someone who's normal, someone who's regular. I don't think I've ever met anybody like that. We all want the best for our lives. And that's why today on the content, we looked at this. And I want you to always remember to like, hit the red button for the subscribers, turn on your notification so you do not miss out on anything. There's nothing wrong with wanting the best for your life. In fact, we as human beings have been birthed to only wanting that for ourselves. Look at history. A people who were slaves under a master regime, a superior regime, always wanted to be set free. Always wanted to be independent. Even when the master regimes provided a very good livelihood for them, but they still yawned to wanting to be free. It just only tells you that as a human being, you are programmed, you are created to wanting to advance, to wanting to grow, to wanting to become. But the world we live in requires intentionality, requires discipline, requires strategizing, requires everything that would make you become all you have been created to be. This yearning will only come to fruition when you take all the requirements and execute on them. If you truly want the best for your life, I want you to understand that it really lies in your hands, not in neighbors, not in your parents, not in your spouse, not in the environment, not the government, but you. Only you has that power to crystallize what comes naturally to you, which is to become more, to want the best for your life. A lot of people have gotten into places, stages, situations in their lives that has thrown them off course totally. Can you imagine a man, Mr. A, who recently lost his job, lost his marriage, lost his dad, all in the span of about months? And this same Mr. A, fast forward to the future, finds a job, marries the, the, the woman of his dreams, comes to term with the sorrow, the pain of losing his dad, creating another version for Mr. A. Can you even imagine that? The question is, have you lost your job? Have you lost your marriage? Have you lost a loved one? All about the same time. If you're one out there who is in that situation, who has experienced it, then you will know that your chip chap motivation, be disciplined, be organized, at that point, is trash. The only thing that is crystal clear, the only thing that is tangible is to reconnect with that vibe of wanting to become more, of wanting to experience more. You out there 
who hasn't experienced Mr. A and feels that everything is tight, your backs are against the wall, you can't breathe, understand that only you can get yourself out of the gutter and back on the streets. If you are Mr. A out there today, I reach out to you, hoping that you see this content and still want to give it another try. I remain your digital influencer, my usual fashion. Truly, truly, I do want us all to strive to become all we have been created to be, to want the better life. And in turn, I will see us all at the top. Cheers.